video topic request or if you just want to let me know you rock with me send a donation to the cash app or one of these other places you feel me much appreciated and follow me on social media too. peace y'all it's Nate Almighty, aka the Global Dark Skin Ambassador, with another story time for that ass. Now, I want to talk about the time I literally got finessed out of four or five hundred dollars in, in abortion money by a girl that I was seeing. That, of course, I was hitting raw dog, sushi boy, you know? Why? Because when I get comfortable with a chick, I'm not putting a condom on. These days, I definitely pull out if I get comfortable. But at that current point in time, my pullout game wasn't as, as strong as it is now. Like, now it's strong. Now it's strong, strong. Like, strong with a K, strong. But without further ado, let's get into it. But first, before we get into it, I want to say, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe and hit that bell so you'll receive notifications of my videos when they drop. Thank you to returning subscribers. Here we go. Now look, this was probably 2016, 17. Now, I had this girl from Cortland, right? Not gonna say her name because she's a known chick. For better or for worse, she know, right? So look, I was clapping it. We was having fun, you know what I'm saying? I was clapping it, clapping it, clapping it. You feel me? Shorty, Shorty was like, yo, man, I'm on birth control. So why is she on birth control, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm dumping in it all stupid. Mind you, this is a chick who I was hitting probably once or twice a week for like six months, you know what I'm saying? Laying her down, spraying her down. Six months. Dumping stupid. Dumping crazy, you feel me? So, eventually it gets to a point where she start talking about the birth control is having bad effects on her body, this, that, and the third, which literally is true. Like, this is a fact. Um, birth control, which is an unnatural means to control pregnancies it does like give chicks blood clots and thyroid issues and all that other type of shit she like listen i'm getting on birth control what i need you to do is start pulling out right so i'm like cool i don't want you to hurt yourself you know what i'm saying or possibly make yourself infertile if you decide you want to have kids in the future Knowing that I ain't going to be a baby daddy, or at least I wasn't intentionally trying to be a baby daddy and shit. Right? So, like I said, we just keep hitting the sheets. We keep hitting the skins. You know what I'm saying? Our ends keep meeting. I'm beating it up, beating it up. Yo, fellas, y'all got to watch these chicks, man, because the same chick that'll tell you don't bust off in a, don't get her pregnant, pull out, wear a condom. These are the exact same chicks to where you hitting it right. They'll be in your ear talking about give me that nut. They will literally be in your ear talking about leave it in. Leave it in. Give me a baby. They literally do this. And so, the bitch caught me. One day I'm in it all crazy. It's real lit. I'm hitting it from the back. She like, ooh, daddy, leave it in. Leave it in. I want to fill it all. Right? What do I do? The stupid thing that most men do in this predicament. I left it in. <laughs> so there you go. 300 billion million semen rushed into her body. Right? Right? So look. Now, a couple weeks go past. A couple weeks go past. And I hear her talking about how her breast hurt and all of that. Right? Like her breast hurt, she been feeling a little sick and shit. I'm like, yeah, your period about to come. Your period about to come, right? Cause, like I said, I've been hitting it for a while. So I know around what time of the year, I mean, what time of the month, her period was coming. But this was after she finished 
taking birth control. You know, like it disrupts the cycle and then the cycle comes back natural. So I'm like, yeah, yo, your period about to come. Blah, blah, blah. You feel me? Next thing I know, she pulls up to come see me. I'm thinking it's regular. She coming for a dick appointment. I'm out to splash. She gonna go about her way. She pull up. Bitch got a pregnancy test in a box. I'm like, yo, don't do that. I'm like, yo, what is? What do you got this for? She like, listen, I think I'm pregnant. In my head, I'm like, you ain't my girl. I know you dealing with other dudes. I'm moving reckless, but in my head, I'm like, even if you was, bitch, it ain't mine. Right? But I do know that I did dump in her. But just because I dumped in her, that don't mean she ain't asked another nigga to dump in it. You feel me? So anyways, she takes a test and she's literally pregnant. I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, so what you want to do? She like, I want to get rid of it. I'm like, all right, cool, copy. She like, but I need help. I'm like, help? Fuck you mean you need help, bitch? You got a job. She like, so you can lay up in me, get me pregnant, but you can't help me pay for abortion, take me Planned Parenthood, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, bitch, you asked me to dump in you. You can have the kid for all I care. I'm going to be in my kid's life. I just might not be in yours. You feel me? You feel me? I ain't making my girl by now. Clearly, I don't want you to be my girl. You dig? Yeah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Now, looking back, this was probably the point where I disrespected and what led to me getting finesse. But I'm like, cool. Anyways, we don't talk for like two days. Then she hit me up. She like, listen, I scheduled the appointment for the abortion. Right? She like, it costs $600. I have two, all I need is four from you. And I need you to take me to Planned Parenthood, right? So, I'm like, all right, cool. Planned Parenthood on 3rd Avenue now, right? A couple days later, I take her to Planned Parenthood. Right before we go to Planned Parenthood, I remember specifically going to the ATM machine, right? Taking out $400, and this is when... I was working for Amazon, like, my checks was like five, six hundred a week. I took out four. That's about 80% of my, of a whole check. Gave her the four, cash in hand. Take her to Planned Parenthood, right? I don't know nothing, you know? I've had a couple other chicks terminate pregnancies, but besides my baby moms, I ain't never went with a chick to no Planned Parenthood besides this other chick. So we go. We handle the business, you know what I'm saying? I take her home. We chilling. Now, mind you, after a chick terminates a pregnancy, you got to wait like a week or two before you slide up in it again. So the situation get dealt with, right? Me and Shorty end up canoodling and smashing again like weeks later. Now, I'm thinking everything is cool. I'm not thinking twice about the situation. I'm like, cool, cool. Um. We agreed to terminate the pregnancy. She terminated the pregnancy. We back home. One day, one day, right? I'm talking to Shorty. And I forgot what the what 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 we was talking about. But it caused her to go in her purse, right? And take out different documents that she had, right? And while she's taking out the documents, I realized that. She takes out a bank card from Chase Bank, which I did know about, right? She has a regular New York State ID, which I did know about. And then, while this bitch is looking for papers and stuff, she pulls out, right? What's the name of this card again? She pulled out a, um, yo, what's the name of that card, man? The, the uh... The damn benefits card, man. She pulled out the benefits card. The uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. The welfare benefit card. The welfare benefit card where you could get free stuff. Like you could go to the hospital, not have to pay for it. 
You could go different places. You could get wick, I believe. I believe, right? And and you bring it to Planned Parenthood, you could get a free abortion. A free abortion. Now I'm looking at that card, right? The card does not look brand new like she got it right after the abortion. I'm looking at it, I'm like, yo, this bitch had this card for a minute. She had this card for a minute, you feel me? I'm like, wow, she got me. I knew right then and there that she got me, right? And I chalked it up to, I, I initially violated her when she told me she was pregnant. But then I'm thinking, I'm like, she was on birth control. She knew I had a good job. I was clear, I was definitely making more money than her. She was only working McDonald's at the time, and they wasn't giving them 15 an hour at that time. I'm like, this bitch finessed me. She robbed me. Wow. So you know what I did? I ain't even make it hot. What I did was I literally smashed for the last time that day right after I figured that out. I hit it, laid it down, sprayed it down all crazy, bust all over her face. For the first time, never smoked her again. Blocked her. Why I blocked you, bitch? Because you finessed me. And she may end up watching this video. I want you to know, I know you finessed me. This is why I smashed, bust all over your face, and never spoke to you again. It's an even exchange. You're welcome for that 400, bitch.